Alright folks, we're back uh, once again here for another birthday special. And who are we uh, doing it for this time? Well, as you can tell by this intro here, Welcome to Jeopardy, this birthday special is for Alex Trebek. And we're going to be playing Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii. So let's see how we do. I should also point out that uh, the uh, Jeopardy announcer, Johnny Gilbert, had his birthday not too long ago himself. So let's see how we do in this game of Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy! I did attempt to record this prior, but I had an interruption, so that recording had to be thrown out. Introducing today's contestant. Player one. On the Player two. On the Player three. There is a plus side though for having to and now, throw out the first attempt is that the, the Jeopardy, game itself hadn't actually Alex started yet. Treback. Thank you, Johnny. Hi folks. Anyway. And welcome. Here comes the Jeopardy round. So here we go. Two hundred to a thousand dollar answers in this first Jeopardy round, round, and the categories are literary pets. Literary pets. Flowers. Flowers. Historic London. Historic London. Pop culture. Pop culture. Cooking class. Cooking class. And everyday Italian. Okay, let's get back into this. Player one, you make the next. The titled beast of his, the Hound of the Baskervilles, is actually the pet of Mr. Jack Stapleton. Let's hear it, player one. Use the Wii remote or press Who's the Sir corresponding Arthur Conan direction Doyle. on the yeah. yeah. Literary pets for 400. Choose again, player one. Harry Potter uses his snowy owl named this to transfer messages. Who is Hedwig? Player one. Yeah. That's right, way to go. You again, player one. Marjorie Kinnan Rawlings, The Yearling, centers on this type of pet. Yes, player one. What is a deer? Oh. That's it. Larry Pets 800. Player one. Little Swan, Little Bear, and Green Finch are some of the goats of this Johanna Spiri lass. Okay, player one. Who is Heidi? That is correct. Finish the category. We return to you. A poetic Elliot feline who has lived many lives in succession is named for this fifth book of the Old Testament. Let's hear it, player one. What is... Okay, it's not Genesis. I think... What is Deuteronomy? Good. Yes. It was either that or Exodus, and I chose the right one. Everyday Italian 200. Formaggio is this dairy product. It's player one. What is cheese? Yes. yes. Everyday Italian for 400. Player one. This food staple is pane. Yes, player one. What is bread? <laughs> Everyday Italian 6. Please pick it. This body part is il piede. Okay, player one. Uh, what is the foot? That is correct. <laughs> Everyday Italian for 800. You get to pick again, player one. This quadruped is un cavallo. Player two. The horse. Yep. Player two, back to you for our next selection. This day of the week is Martedi. It is Tuesday? Let's hear it, player one. Good for you. Cooking class 200. Player one, back to you. If you boil these before making them into hash browns, they'll stick together better and cook faster, too. It's player one. What are potatoes? Yeah. Yep. Cooking class for 400. Player one. To make bunny salad, use a chilled pear half for the bunny's body and a ball of cottage cheese for this appendage. Mm. I'm going to hold off because this one always crosses me up. 
Okay, player three. Hey, the tail. We return to you, player three. Joy of Cooking suggests using these Thanksgiving berries in any recipes calling for red currants. What are cranberries? Yes, player one. Yeah. You are correct. Cooking class 800. Player one. The Chicken of the Sea website suggests making enchiladas with the albacore type of this. Player one. What is tuna? You got it. And let's finish the category. Choose again, player one. For the silver dollar type of these breakfast treats, drop the batter onto the griddle one tablespoon at a time. What are pancakes? It's layer one. Right you are. 7,800. You get to pick again, layer one. Historic London, 200. You can visit several of these historic structures like Kensington and Buckingham. Layer one. What are palaces? Right. Historic London for 400. Layer 1. Regent's Park was a hunting ground for this 16th century king who never hunted without tiring 8 or 10 horses. Yes, player 2. Charles II? That's not it. No. Any other takers? Here's the response we were looking for. Henry VIII. Mr. Clunded Six. Please pick again. Famous men who orated at Hyde Park's Speaker's Corner include Friedrich Engels and this 1848 Engels co-author. Here's the correct response. Karl Marx. 800. Select again. Answer! Daily Double! <laughs> it's the Daily Double. And you have the lead. Please select your wager, player one. And the clue. Arthur Wellesley, the first Duke of this, was known as a soldier, but had an eye for art, as you can see at Apsley House. What is Wellington? You have got, got it. it in your lead. Way to go. You again, player one. According to Shakespeare. These conflicts began with a confrontation in the Temple Gardens. Here's what we wanted. The Wars of the Roses. Wars of the Roses. Layer 1. Back Flowers back. 200. Holding reserves through winter, these globular underground buds let flowers like Narcissus bloom early. Here's what we were looking for. Bulbs. Flowers for four. You get to pick it. This large group of flowering plants attracts serious devotees like those who pay $10,000 for one Peruvian plant. Let's hear it, player three. No. Sorry. Not roses. Anyone else? We're talking about orchids. 600. Player one, that this Mayflower of the Buttercup family has a C version too. Okay, player one. What is urchin? Uh, no, that's my first miss. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? The correct response is the anemone. 800. Please pick it. A bouquet of a dozen sink foils ought to have a total of this many petals. Let's hear it, player one. What is 60? Yeah. That's correct. The flowers for a thousand. 
Select again. El vulgari is the oxide type of this common flower. Here's the response we were looking for. The daisy. Pop culture 200. We return to you, player one. Kelly? Glasses with colored filters in each eye let you watch films in 3D. At the 2010 Grammys, the audience donned them for a montage from this performer's This Is It. Player one? Who is Michael Jackson? That's oh. correct. 400, please sing category. And I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Kevin James weds this Hanukkah song guy at Niagara Falls. Who is Adam Sandler? It's player one. Woo. Right. 600. Player one. Michael C. Hall of Six Feet Under went to Showtime to play this homicidal title character. Here's what we were looking for. Dexter Morgan. 800. Player one. In 1964, he topped the pop music charts with the title song from Hello Dolly. Okay, player two. Aww. Not Bobby Vinton. Anyone else? Yes, player one. Who's Bobby Darren? No, that's no, it was Louis Armstrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player three. Yes. <laughs> and here's the thousand dollar clue. A two-time Oscar winning actress, one of her first jobs was as the copper tone suntan lotion girl at age three in 1965. Okay, player one. Who is Jodie Foster? Good. And that is the end of the Jeopardy round. The double Jeopardy round. Will Samuel, be 800, Katie and Bird at minus 400, and I have $11,000. Katie is going to pick first in double Jeopardy after this.